Hello again. Hello. Welcome to another edition of the Real Love Guide. It's three o'clock in Bali. Yeah. Dow Corn is going off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Plastics Factory. And we've got a bottle of Fuller's. Nicely chilled, this one. Yeah. Bengal Lancer. It's been in the fridge for a bit. And yeah. Uh, Not overly cold, but I reckon about perfect for... For an IPA. For the, for the review. 5.3% ABV, bottle condition, India Pale Ale. And I imagine it's an original type of IPA rather than an American. Yeah, it's not a bonkers. Funked up. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Should have bought a bottle cap with the Griffin Brewery on the top. Is that where funders have bought a different brewery? Or? I think it's the name of their brewery in London. Okay. The Griffin Brewery, I think, I think it is. They have bought um, one or two breweries in the past. I think they've bought. I can't think of the name of it now. I've, re I've reviewed a, one of their beers, uh, the Summer Ale. It'll come to me in a minute. It will come to me. Right. Nice golden colour on this. Yeah. I'm oh, doing a better job of this, Paul. Famous last words. Oh, no, it's not too bad. No, I think the aggressive pour is good for... Reviewing purposes because you're yeah. getting the, the nose a bit better off it. Yeah, yeah. That looks lovely. Classic amber colour. Yeah. To the beer. I got a, it's a light quite, a, quite a rigorous um, one finger head. I'd say yeah, one finger quite a it's quite a soapy head this one. Yeah. Which is dissipating not... very, very quickly. That one drips off your finger, right? Yes. Than... Yeah. yeah, the Dunkel beer. Yeah. Which we just had, which would have been staying there like a like a mm. ninety nine or something. I'm liking the carbonation to this, it's just nice and calm. Mm. It's not overly done. It's not going back, no. It's bottle condition, but there's not too much sediment in there. It's a five point three ABV. I mean, they've got the thing on here about IPAs being being brewed especially to take to India because they last longer. Yeah. It's a bit of an urban myth, um, but they were popular to take over to India. You know? Yeah, so, I think they travel well. Yeah. That's, I think that's the, the, the idea behind it. Yeah. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So English malt and Golden's hops in this one. Do you know what? I am loving that nose. This nose is exciting me. Mm. That is... Yeah, you get the, uh, the hit of the hop in there, isn't it? Yeah, most definitely, but it's like a dry... It's almost like a dry lemon, kind of lemon peel, but it's not overly strong. But there's a hint there, and there's a hint of something exciting to come. Yeah. I'm going to look forward to this. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that. There's at the um, we had the Sammy Smith's pair out. Yeah. A while back, and it was it wasn't brilliant. A bit disappointed. This is at this is at the top end, I think, for, of the yeah. the IPAs. Where before you get to that barrier, where you're into the mental kind of crazy hoppy American style. Oh, yeah. Beers. This this is a top class British IPA. I'm disappointed with myself. I'm coming up to two years of beer review on YouTube, and, I'm, and this is the first time I've ever tried Bengal Lancer. Mm. I'm, a li I'm a little disappointed, to be honest, because that, for me, is bordering perfection. Because you're having a lovely hot grapefruit, mm. lemon um, flavour from the hops, and it's 5.3%, yeah. so you could... Massive you, bitterness in there. Yeah, right? you could enjoy this all afternoon. Mm. Oh, I am, um, yeah. Could we have the Fuller, was it the Past Masters, the Fuller's one we had the other week? The Past Masters Strong Ale, Double X mm. Strong Ale, which, are, looking back, it's done fairly well. Mm. A lot of people have watched it, and I kind of changed my tune afterwards on that, because I had a lot of comments saying, perhaps, um, well, I... I don't know what I'm going on about, really. It was a historical perspective was the key thing for that, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was the fact that that was a 120-year-old brew. I don't know if this one is. 
Um, yeah, it says it was first brewed in the 19th century, so you're looking at more than 100 years old on this one as well. Yeah. So if they've carried on brewing it, there's a reason they've carried on brewing it and not had to revive it and pack it up. Good point. Very, very, well, that's, that's, a, that's a, a great point. Um, the, I think the, the London Pride is the, the, the I think that's when they, they brewed forever. They, they've always brewed that. Um, and this, for me, in their range, they, they, have you tried the London Porter? No, I've not had the Porter. No. That's, that's, that's nice. Um, but I think this is right up there with the best Fodder's beers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Really... Yeah. London Pride is a is a good ale, but it doesn't deliver some of the things that I like. Sometimes, you know, the, the high end hop, you know, that real real bitterness. This this hop, this um, where do we find it? What was the name of it? The Golden's hop. This Golden's hop mm. is slightly different to like a Cascade, or it's giving off. It's given off a difference. It's it's more it's hoppy, but it's mellow. It's a little bit more mellow. It kind of hits the heights mm. and then cuts off a little bit. Yeah. And then it yeah it kind of it kind of just hits you and then tails off. Whereas which if, isn't bad. If you have the say the bad. what's it called the the torpedo the um yeah. What's it, who, who makes that? Sierra Nevada. The Sierra Nevada. The torpedo hits you with a massive hop and a piney, a piney aftertaste. Yeah. Whereas this just hits you with a big hop and then tells off quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't leave you with that abiding kind of. And it's not resonance as well. It, sometimes um, they get they get hopped that much. They're, they're seven eight percent. They become a hop juice. Yeah. And they got a really thick resinous. Mm. This is very much. Very much a beer. It's an English style. English style beer, which you can just review mm. uh, and sorry, and just drink and drink and drink and drink. I really could spend an afternoon drinking it. I'm so surprised by this. You think how much of the malt in there? There's not much malt on the on the nose of it. It's more. It's leaning towards the hop. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's it's very much leaning towards the hot bitterness. It's it's not much sweetness there at all for me. But I'm pleasantly, I keep saying it, I'm pleasantly surprised, but a little bit disappointed. It's taken me nearly two years to actually get round to trying this beer. Yeah, I, I stumbled across this again in Waitrose. It's Waitrose all the way. It's the best place for beer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Again, it, I mean, fellas have gone to the point of doing the historical kind of thing on this. This is Bengal Lancer. This is named after a, a regiment of, of people that were out in India. Um, they've got some all, all manner of you know, exploits to their name. You can go and check them out on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. But they, you know, they've they've tried to pin something to it and make it a little bit distinctive, and, and that's good. You know, it's, it's nice to. It's nice to the fact that they've named it, and it's after a, a thing sort of compared with the empire that, that Britain used to have. Yeah, it draws you yeah. back to that. This is this is an old-fashioned beer. <laughs> Two seconds. Yes, sir. No. I think it's about time for the quick rating. Mm. Well, what would you get? What would you give this? I'm ple <laughs> pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I'm going to go with an eight and a half. I think. Um, eight and a half. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely IPA. I'm going to give this a nine. I'm going to give this a nine out of ten. I'm really surprised by this. It's a fantastic beer. Yeah. But thanks for joining us again. Yeah. Um, tune in for another review. And cheers. Cheers. <laughs>